It was a beautiful day for a ride. The sun was bright and warm, and the scenery was even better than we had expected it to be. We turned off on a side road to get a really good look at potato harvesting. The potato grower came over to the car to greet us and invited us to come into the field. We had never seen so many acres of potatoes before. Row after row had been turned up. Jody and Billy thought it was great fun to help pick up the potatoes and put them in the basket. Maine grows a large share of the nation's potatoes, the grower told us. Arista County alone, he said, produces about one-fifth of the nation's supply. Potatoes have been grown commercially in Arista County for nearly 70 years. Probably most of us think of potatoes as just something that you buy in a bag at the grocery store. But now, they are made up in a number of different forms. Some of these potatoes may be made into potato chips, or into french fries and quick frozen. Some may be made into frozen whipped potatoes. The making of potato starch is another industry that I'd never known about. During potato harvest, even the smallest kids help out. One type of potato developed in Maine is named after its famous mountain, Katahdin. Another type introduced in this region recently is the russet Burbank. After the digger turns up the hills, the potatoes are put into baskets and dumped into barrels. The pickers are paid by the barrel, and an experienced adult picker can pick as many as a hundred barrels a day. After the barrels are full, they are loaded on trucks and taken to the potato house for storage. During the potato harvest in Aristoc, harvest hands come from neighboring New Brunswick and Quebec, as well as several New England states. These diggers sure turn up the potatoes a lot faster than if it had to be done by hand. I remembered helping dig potatoes in my granddad's garden, and I didn't get any pay for it. A lot of these Arista County children earned their spending money by working in the fields during the harvest time. Billy looked right at home up there on that digger. All the time we were talking, the loading went on. Barrel after barrel was hoisted on the truck. As we were leaving the fields, the potato grower said, be neighborly. I didn't quite know what this meant, but Peggy told me this was an old main saying, which means to come back again. It makes you feel good to meet people like this. And you bet, we'll come back again. It means a lot to strangers to be warmly welcomed like we were. To seal our friendship, the grower gave us a sample of some of his potatoes. 